like the weather. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's been doing this all day. First thing this morning. Uh, winds are gusting. Uh, it's gotta be up in the, the 60K area. Raining like crazy. It's supposed to do this until like six o'clock at night. So I'm leaving work right now and I'm not leaving work because the boss said, okay guys, go home. I am leaving work because I am fed up standing in this all day trying to get things done. And uh, it's just dumb. It is just dumb. It's what I find especially stupid about it is when you have this, you know, a company that will say to you guys, we want you to be productive. We want you to use your time wisely. We want you to be efficient. And then you have a day like this, and within the first two hours, I'd say 80% of the sub trades have all left. And uh, by you know 11 o'clock, I think pretty much all of them were done. There might be one or two that are inside, uh, you know, under some cover that are working. But for the most part, everybody's left. And we're outside putting together concrete forms to take over and, and put in place. We've got GFI breakers are constantly, like, I'm talking, go flick the breaker, the GFI, click. And then uh, about a minute and a half later, plunk, it goes out on you. Go flick it again. Get, get another, holy frick, it's windy. It is windy. Windy! The highway is going to be interesting. I can tell you that right now. Man, this headwind is crazy. I work for Kiwit, a pretty huge North American construction company. It does work all over the world, based out of Kansas, I believe. I worked on one of their jobs for uh, about three or four months while I was back in Saskatchewan waiting to come home here to BC. And uh, they were awesome, awesome company to work for. Uh, fantastic safety uh, protocol, safety guidelines. Really cared about the guys that worked for them, and uh, it was great. It was it was the best experience I've had working for a construction company. I am going home. I might make a bit of a detour on the way. I think I will actually. Just to show you a little bit of uh, what it's like here when it's storming. Look at these guys trying to trying to get going, eh? Burr, 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 burr. Pigeons in 3D! I'm flying with them. I'm part of the flock. These are the smart birds over here. I think we'll sit this one out, boys. Oh yeah. The seas were angry, my friend. I'd love to go walk on those rocks down there, but uh, in these boots, I'd probably end up in that surf right there. Guys down here sucking face. Coming down for a little romantic rendezvous. Oh, yeah, it's blowing pretty good right here. Woo! Yeah. What are you doing there, buddy? You pulling over? Yeah, gonna take a look at the look at the waves. I don't blame you. That's why I'm here. When it gets really bad here, when, when you get a really good storm coming in, those waves are coming up over this, over this seawall here and onto the road. And it looks like, well you can see there's rocks on there where it's already been blowing. And those logs will end up on the road as well. Here, I'll go shields up for a second. salty water on my GoPro. Arr! Arr, Billy! 
the sea. It be heaving beyond its bounds, I believe. Oh yeah, let's go over here. Hang on, this looks good. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we're in it. Check it out. That's some angry sea there, boys. All the logs get pulled into it. Yeah. That's cool. I need to get a picture of this. Gotta post my picture. What shall we say? We'll say, we'll do the classic. The seas. We're angry. Can't read today. Then I'll throw in a little uh, pirate noise. Arr. And then I'll say post. And I'll send that out to all my Facebook folks that all are watching. I think I got 200 people there that are following me now. So I try to get you guys some uh, some photos when I'm out. Let you know what I'm doing. Well, here's a viewing area. We were just over there. Come up here and. Bring your wife up, get her away from the kids, and give her a little kissy kissy action. Remind her why she fell in love with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I must say, my uh, one of my better features is my is my lips, or is that one of my better features are my lips? Whatever. I'm not uh, looking for an English mark here, but um, yeah, that's one thing my wife and girlfriends in the past have always uh, commented on is that I have uh, nice kissy lips you know they're not they're not too tight you know kind of pursy lips and they're not too mushy that you get lost in them they're just right have enough resistance and yet pillowy soft but that house right there that white one it just gets pounded by the ocean it was a it was a good idea to build there about I don't know, 40 years ago, and it was uh, a summertime, I'm sure that they built it. Woo! Hello! Ay, 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 caramba! I'm a blowing, I'm a blowing man! But uh, yeah, you can see underneath there all the paint chipped away, and that's, that sea salt just eats it up! No dogs a lot, but it doesn't say anything about motorcycles. I could, I could make it down here. Getting back up would be a bugger because there's no traction down here. Hello, Mr. Seagull. You see, the way my mind works, this is how this scenario would play out. I'm gonna walk up here, and as I get to the other side, I find a small briefcase about this big, waterproof. I pick it up, I unlatch it, and I open it up to find, I don't know, something cool. Preferably, uh, like drug money. 20s, 50s, 100s, non-sequential. And maybe a semi-automatic pistol. Like a M&P, 40 cal, 45 would be nice. 
So I like this right here. Someone's made these little Adirac chairs and left them here. This is hilarious, eh? This is Victoria for you. Yeah. Just come down, have a seat. Watch the waves. I hope, I hope the GoPro is not getting too wet because I don't want you to be looking through a blur, but it's kind of cool. Come down, have a seat. Oh, well, boys and girls, I'm going to go home now. I need to sit here for a bit longer. Think about life. All right, that's enough thinking about life. All right, guys. Thanks for riding with me. Appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys are having a good time. Preparing for the festive season. Whatever you uh, happen to be celebrating. Enjoying time with your family and friends. And just enjoying time with people. So have a good time. I'm going to sign out. This stormy day on the coast of Vancouver Island, Victoria. Bye.